Hi friends, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we are gonna talk all about light key. So Light Key is a Mac software. We've recommended it for at least a few years now. It's a really good software. And today I want to take a look at it. They actually just released Light Key 5, which I honestly wasn't even expecting, has a few upgrades to it. And, you know, just want to look at it from the great, the base level, let you know who we recommend it for, you know, who it's great for, who it's not, some pitfalls you might run into and some things you really want to know. So. Light key is known as lighting max style. So just to walk through like the basics of it, light key is basically the most Mac program I've ever run into for lighting, just in the sense that, you know, those that use Macs, and I admit I'm a terrible former Mac user, um, they really like it. And so that's their motto, and that's really what they go by. So there's a couple things you want to know just on the forefront, like in terms of cost, because cost always matters. So it basically works on pretty much any Mac. And in fact, it doesn't really use that many resources, but you just need either a USB to DMX box or a ArtNet or SACN network based box. Okay, they list some here. Our two favorites, just to show you, are going to be, of course, from aboveavl.com, if I can type. And they are gonna be right now at the time of this recording, the DMX USB Pro, um, from Entech, of course, you know, it's a hundred. Well, no, we won't say the price because the price may change in the future, though it honestly hasn't changed in a long time. It's simple. You plug it in. It just generally works. Um, but the Chauvet DMX AN2 at the time of this recording is really a go-to because it's not a lot more money. You do have to configure it on your network, but we have a video on that, of course. But then it has two three-pin DMX outputs. So you can output two universes of DMX or just use it basically as a splitter and have both ports output the same DMX, but send them to two different groups of lights. So you, you have to buy a box and then you end up buying the software separate. Light Key themselves, they don't sell a box. They're just a software company. Okay, so you got to have it on a Mac. And then depending on the number of channels you're going to use, the pricing is going to vary. And again, the pricing is blurred out here just simply because, you know, we expect them to change in the future. They can also do Philips Hue bulbs, which is interesting but odd. That is an additional cost. So Light Key is definitely not the cheapest, especially over the long term. Um, it's a year license and then you renew. But it is really friendly to Mac users. So and <laughs> I don't mean to throw anybody under the bus with that. I used to be such a Mac user and, and I still do use it. So. Light Key is, what's really cool about it is it's really the only program that I've run into that has an excellent wizard to get you started. So basically, I just launched a new project and I'm gonna say, for example, that I'm sending over SACN on my ethernet and then you just hit next and now you choose different fixtures, right? These fixtures you can request, they're, I would say they, they build them at a medium speed. They're not super fast, not super slow. And you know, you can just very simply, you drag lights in and then you say how many you want and then you patch them, right? No, I, I have not activated my license on this for this year yet. So apologize for that pop up. But essentially you patch all your fixtures. So you bring in, you know, maybe some Borealis, maybe we do some pens from Gamma. That's their house light, we love them. They've been super reliable. Maybe we add in some Starburst, okay? And so Light Key is really cool in how it works because you, you bring in your lights and then it just really walks you through this wizard. So now you go ahead and you, you have your different lights here. You can see the different types. They all look a little bit different. And you're able to just move them to match, you know, what your room looks like, right? And so you can select, you can use shift and select. To select multiple. It's like, say, for example, these are my gamma pens, I believe, and their house lights. And then we've got maybe these pars. And again, I'm such a bad Mac user, but you can simply select, you know, these pars now. Say we make those our backlight, and these moving hands are our front light. And then once they're kind of in the right space, you can always adjust it later. 
You can set up a beam direction, which is nice. So it, basically the difference is, you know, are you looking at it from the front, from the top, etc. cetera. Um, and then as you go through it, you can then group selected fixtures together. So for example, to, you really used to be able to drag a box. I don't know why it's mad at me, but I'll just grab these ones and group them together. I'll grab these ones, group them together grab these ones, group them together. You can also create groups for me, which is what I probably should have done because it would have been the same thing. You can do layers and stuff too to be able to move things forward and backwards, align things, and most importantly, turn the lights on. Now, now we get to light beam directions. So light key is really the only program that's ever walked me through like this. The ability to make sure that what you're seeing on the screen essentially matches what the light's doing and, and make all of your lights match. So it walks you through basically, where's the light pointing when, it's, when the DMX values are all at zero? Which way does it rotate? And it sends DMX out and your light starts to rotate and you match it. So you say, okay, is it going counterclockwise? or I click it the other way if it was going clockwise. Now that it matches, I move on to the next lights. You can also set limits for how far it goes. To me, these are a little unintuitive, but maybe I'm just not a good enough Mac user. And then whether you're looking at it from the front, top, side, etc. So you can do that for all of them, which is super helpful. You can also do them together. So if you select them all and set them, they will all set together. Okay, you see that? So that's super helpful as well. Like I said, a lot of other programs kind of have it built into the profile, which way the light turns and which way it points in the 2D view, which can be really helpful unless it's wrong. And then sometimes it's hard to fix. Light key has that built in, which can be kind of nice. Sometimes it doesn't really matter. Sometimes it does. Okay, so you go through and do all that. And then it continues to walk you through this wizard until you get to the main light key screen. Okay, so light key's got a couple of ways of working. It's, it's really easy and intuitive if you're already used to a Mac workflow, and I would say it's cost effective if you already have Macs. Because you simply just go and you select lights, either single or in the group, or now I can drill down to single lights. I can change things about them, right? I can turn them up and down. Okay, we didn't set a light beam direction on these, so it doesn't show up. Um, oh, that's my white, sorry, but I can turn them up and down with the intensity, and then I can move them. That's been something that's kind of always been weird to me in a light key, is for pan and tilt, I have to actually do shift P, and then I get this other wizard that pops up. That's always just been kind of odd to me, but it does let you work with the tilt, and then the pan, let you move the lights around. You can fan multiple, and overall it works pretty well. And again, we've liked a light key for a long time. Then once you kind of build things that you like, you build presets, okay? So you go and for example, Apple N is a new preset. It attempts to name it and you're good to go. We generally teach keeping your presets super organized because it's gonna help you down the road to be able to create really good light. And they're gonna store whatever you have adjusted the lights to do in that preset. In terms of playback, Light Key works really well. So they have this live tab where you basically just drag down presets or individual things into buttons, faders, etc. You can then assign those to MIDI controllers or you can fire them by themselves. So like here we have our red blue, blue, blue look, we can turn that on and off and the lights go to their default position when not in that red blue look. It can work really well. It can also take MIDI commands, as I mentioned. So you can map these to MIDI, you can send, you can get MIDI BPM for all of the effects, and you can also trigger things from Ableton Live. And I think that's where Light Key definitely, at least at the time of this recording in 2024, has the biggest advantage, is that it will actually come up in Ableton Live as sort of a plugin where you could just drag your scenes right into live. We actually did a video with the band We Three a few years ago where they did this for a big live stream show. It was actually during COVID. And they did a very complex show and it worked really well. Being in Ableton Live and its direct connection to Lightkey just made it a total win. Definitely check that video out here. But outside of that, you know, the question then becomes, okay, who is Lightkey good for? Who is it best for? You know. We have liked Lightkey for a number of years, and it's a really great piece of software, if you, especially if you already have a Mac. 
It doesn't really require the latest and greatest Mac, like a lot of lighting software. It's fairly light on the resources and you can run it on pretty old machines and be pretty happy with it. I would say though here in 2024, like it's a great software. And if you like Macs and you download the demo and you play around with it and it works really well for you, it's a great choice. You know, here in 2024, we're starting to recommend other options a lot more simply because, uh, you know, the reoccurring subscription of, you know, anywhere from 79 to a few hundred dollars a year can really add up to quite a bit as opposed to maybe buying another piece of software one time. That being said, like he's still a great program. You know, if you're a Mac user and you don't want to learn something new, you just want to stick with something that's easy and really visual, really intuitive, works really well. I think like he's still a really good fit. You know, it's a basic to intermediate level software, meaning that you do end up hitting a ceiling at some point. Like if you're going to control a lot of fixtures or a lot of fixtures that have individual pixels, you're going to find that you will kind of hit your ceiling with like he and maybe want to look at upgrading to something else. But until that point, it can be a really great option. Definitely like the most user-friendly, easiest to get started with, to get going with that I know of on the market. Definitely, we give Likey a big thumbs up um, as a basic to intermediate level solution. Does it do everything perfectly? Now, there are a couple things I get nitpicky about, like the way that pan tilt doesn't show up in the design tab and you have to hit a hotkey to get its thing to pop up. That's kind of always annoyed me. I've always kind of found that to be a little bit clunky. But overall, it's a, it's a good piece of software. And if you already use a Mac, it, it can be a good buy. That being said, definitely check out our other favorites and you know our console choice videos from 2024 over on the main channel. Um, because Blakey, well, <clears throat> we still recommend it a lot. I would say we're recommending it less than we used to. The, the new things they're adding and just comparing it to other stuff on the market that's similar, um, it's not always winning out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So if that sounds good, definitely check out those videos over on the main channel and be sure to subscribe here. And of course, when you need any lighting gear, whether it's a box for light key like that DMX AN2 or anything else, head over to Above AVL. We'd love to help you with all your lighting needs and also your audio and video stuff. Let us build a package together for you, get you that personalized price and help you get the stuff in your hands that you're looking for. If that sounds good, we'll see you there. Thanks.